It's easier now than it ever has been to sell your work as an artist. Long gone are the days where you have to have gallery representation in order to sell your work. So let's go over a couple practical tips to get you started selling your artwork. The first tip that I can offer you, and it may seem a little Captain Obvious, but you have to have work to sell. And not just do you need to have artwork to sell, but you need to have artwork in a wide range of prices. The reason that this is so important is you don't want to price yourself out of somebody's budget. The last thing you want to do is have a body of work and every single work within that body is $2,000 or more. When you do that and people are trying to buy work from you, maybe they can't afford that $2,000 price point. You want to make sure that you have something all along the way so that if people like your work, they can support you. One easy way to do this is if you make originals mostly and maybe you want to start selling prints, for example, that's a great way to lower your price point. Another great way to price art affordably for people to buy is include things like merchandising items like stickers or notebooks, greeting cards, or whatever it may be. You want to make sure that you have something within all the price ranges. I create a range for people to shop my art. So if somebody likes my work and they want to support me, I'm making sure that I have something for everybody to meet them where they are. Okay, so moving on to tip number two, research local shows and sign up for them. This is such an underrated thing that I wish more and more artists would focus on. You don't have to have a large social media following. You don't even have to have a website to sell thousands of dollars of art. Research your local shows and start signing up. I'm gonna put a link in the description. I've got an amazing resource that I've used in order to find shows both locally, regionally, and nationally all over the country. You can search based on which state you're looking for, which city you're looking for, how far away you want the different shows to be. One thing to keep in mind is as you're applying to these shows, there is a cost for that. Some shows are $10, some shows are $25, $35. It really just depends on the show. This can be anything from your local art walk all the way up to really nice prestigious shows. After you apply, you may not get into the show. Your application fee is non-refundable. So think of that as a way for you to put yourself out there. If you do get into the show, however, then you have to pay for booth space. And booth space can be $100, it can be all the way up to honestly over a thousand dollars. The highest I've ever paid is like 750 to 800 dollars. Once you establish the booth space, most of these shows are BYOB. And what I mean by that is bring your own booth. Typically, they want you to have a white booth that's got some sort of tent canopy on it. And a lot of the shows also ask for walls. So it could be something like pro panels or fence chain some sort of wall in order for you to display your work. Now, I know you might be scared thinking, oh my gosh, I don't have hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars in order to do one of these art shows. Like I'm done, kaput. Not entirely true. That brings us to point number three. Start reaching out to local breweries or local coffee shops. And nine times out of 10, they're gonna be supporting a local artist. So what they do is they will feature you for an entire month. You get to hang your art on their walls. And a lot of them will do really cool things like opening nights for artists where you can come in, you can do a live painting night. Typically, it's the first Friday of the month in which you're showing. Unbelievable. I've met some amazing people doing these shows, had great turnouts, and every single time I've sold paintings. The amazing part about this, it's like two or threefold. Number one, it's completely free. Two, you get exposure to people that are either local to the area or in town traveling from the area that otherwise would not see your work. And three, these breweries just wanna have art on their wall as a rotational gallery. It brings people in the doors. They don't want a cut of your work. They're there to support you and to showcase you. So again, as long as you have a body of work and you have it in different price ranges, you can show it and share it entirely for free. You don't have to have a social media following or even a website to do this. This brings me to point number three. Was that three? Or is it tip number four? Tip number four, make sure you have a way to take people's money. You cannot make a sale if you can't transact. This can be a card reader, like a square reader or some sort of point of sale. If you do have a website that connects to your website, this could be PayPal, this could be Venmo. It could even just be simply cash. If you have a way to take people's money, you can sell artwork. It's really that simple. So make sure that you're set up, test transactions before you start to show your work and make sure that everything's working smoothly and you're able to accept their payment. 
Okay, and this brings us to the last and final step, which is step number five, which is have a business card. So that could be a QR code. That's a screenshot that you have on your phone. It could even be a handwritten business card. Get your name and your number and your email on a card so that if somebody wants to purchase work from you, or they're interested in learning more about you and they're at the brewery, make sure you have some sort of way in which they could get in touch with you and reach out to you and ask questions, inquire further about work and whatnot. It's amazing how many people miss this step and I know it seems so basic, but you gotta have a way in which people can get in touch with you and you gotta have that available to them. I hope this was helpful. I'm telling you, you don't have to have a large social media following. You really do not even have to have a website. You just have to have the few things we went over in this video. Are you selling your art currently? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Best of luck and stay creative. Thanks so much.